Have you often encountered situations where the Express LRS firmware flashing fails? Hello everyone, this is iFlight. If you've played around with ELRS, you know the biggest headache is flashing the firmware. So, why do we need to flash firmware? There are mainly two reasons. The first is that the firmware of the TX module and receiver are not compatible, with a huge version span, they cannot bind and use. The second is that when the official ELRS releases new features, if we want to experience the new features, we must update the device firmware. Let me show you how to flash ELRS firmware for your TX module and receiver of your remote control. We've rounded up five different methods to get your ELRS firmware up and running. Let's dive in and see if there's one that's new to you. In the following session, we will demonstrate using iFlight's ELRS-related devices, the remote control and receiver. They are, flashing with the Speedy B, flashing with ELRS Web Flasher, flashing by Express LRS Web UI, ELRS Configurator, and using a programmer for flashing. Stay tuned as we walk you through these five methods to flash your ELRS firmware.